Her Excellency Sheikha Lubna bint Khalid Al Qasimi is the Minister of International Cooperation and Development for the United Arab Emirates. She's the first woman to ever serve as a minister or hold any cabinet position in the UAE and has done an extraordinary amount of philanthropic work during her time there. She's increased the UAE's aid from $5.4 billion to foreign countries, making it the highest aid in the world per percentage of GDP at 1.3%. She was born a member of the ruling family of the United Arab Emirates on January 9, 1958. She started her education by getting her bachelor's degree in computer science at California State University of Chico in 1981. She started her work by being one of the UAE's pioneers of computer engineering and worked with many different firms, which ultimately led to her receiving her position at the Dubai Port Authority. While she was there, she made the revolutionary system that changed turnaround time at the port from one hour to just 10 minutes. She then moved on to develop and become chief executive officer at Tajari, the leading business to business marketplace in the Middle East. During this time, she also received her executive MBA from American University of Sharjah in 2002. By 2004, she became the Minister of Economy and Planning in the United Arab Emirates. During this time, she was also setting up e government initiatives throughout the UAE through her position as chairperson of the Board of Directors of the Securities and Commodities Authority. In 2005, she was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Although she didn't win, she was becoming well-known throughout the world, and in 2008, she was appointed to be Minister of Foreign Trade. During this time, she built many important global relationships and worked to move the United Arab Emirates from being known only for their oil market. She worked to diversify their economy, particularly through the industrial, manufacturing, renewable energy, and transportation sectors. She was also very successful as Minister of Foreign Trade, boosting the UAE to have the largest export market for U.S. goods and services in the Arab world. She also worked on plans to expand tourism, the finance and banking sector, education, health, logistics services, and ports and airports. So it's no surprise that by 2013, she was promoted to the Minister of the International Cooperation and Development. She has held this position ever since. For the past five years, she has been ranked in the Forbes magazine list of the world's most powerful women, just this past year reaching 42nd. She was also ranked in the Wall Street Journal's 50 International Women to Watch and has honorary degrees from several universities throughout the world. She also sits on the board of directors at the Dubai Chamber, the Board of Emirates Nuclear Energy Cooperation, several university boards, the Board of the Emirates Foundation for Youth Development, the Board of Trustees for the Dubai School of Government, and is the co-founder and board member of the Friends of Cancer Patients Society. She frequently gives lectures and speeches throughout the world on economics, gender, and equality issues. She encourages women to aim high and not set limits to what they can achieve. She believes that the region is making great strides in opening up opportunities for women. Her Excellency is quoted in saying that she is a firm believer that the true progress of a society or a nation can be determined by the way it treats women. Her Excellency is an avid supporter of sustainable development in developing countries, especially in areas of education, enhancing technical capabilities, and building industry. She also supports renewable energy and environmental actions in these countries. She's working hard at her current ministerial post to build a strong relationship with the UAE and United Nations Industrial Development Organization so she can better achieve her goals. Most recently, she has been calling on countries throughout the world to step up the relief effort and create a plan towards closing the food gap.